Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's about from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome to some Friday night action here at the ballpark, Petco Park, San Diego, California, Marlins and Padres. Two California boys going at it on the bumps for their respective teams, Dan Heron and Tyson Ross, as they were both born in California and attended universities in California. Here are the stanton -less Marlins, and their lineup as Denton is still in a DL for a few more weeks. And the hidden gem this year for the San Diego Padres, Tyson Ross, 6-6 six six with a 2-2-4 ERA through 19 games with 112 strikeouts. His whip is among the best. First batter of the game, leadoff man Donovan Solano is down on strikes. Tyson Ross starting out with a pretty nice strike out there. As you see, his fastball can get into the mid-90s if he can get that going throughout the game. Young gun Christian Yelich. Extends his hitting streak to seven games with a single into left. Itro was at first, and now he's at third with a beautiful running play there around the tag of Will Middlebrooks, and that will bring in Marcel Ozuna with runners on the corners and one out. He hits this one into left. Upton is under it. He'll make the catch, but it should be deep enough for the speedy Itro to tag up. He tags, Upton throws, and that is offline. Itro is in, and it is 1-0 Marlins here in the first inning. So that will do it. For the top of the first, we'll move on to the bottom of the first. You see Austin Hedges in the seven hole looking to get his first major league hits here. We'll see if he can do it against Dan Heron out of Pepperdine University. Seven and six, three, four, six ERA through 18 games with a hundred strikeouts. And he will look to go against this very diverse San Diego Padres lineup. Will Myers up to bat. Second batter of the game, and he's going to single this one just past the third baseman. And into left field. So he has a single for the Padres. We'll see what we can do as Matt Kemp with a 309 average comes up to the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch to him. He is hitting this deep into left. And it's not going to be tracked down by Christian Yelich. He lost it. As a result, the runners cannot score. And Upton is in there. Or I'm sorry, Will Myers is in there at third. And that is a double for Matt Kemp. Later on, Justin Upton hitting this one over to second. But that will allow... Will Myers to come in to score. So that will tie up the game there as it is 1-1 now. Will Middlebrook singling this one up the middle. And just like that, Kemp comes home and scores. It's a 2-1 game, folks. Padres are leading off of that RBI single by Will Middlebrooks. Second inning action here. Martin Prado singling this one in the left. As Upton has nothing else to do but throw that into the cutoff, man. And that will bring up Jared Saltzlamakia. Runner on first, 0 2 pitch is hit over to first, back to second. They got one and they got two. Tyson Ross filling in there at first. And you see the beautiful play here covering for Yonder Alonso as he gets to the bag, makes the catch, steps on it, and completes the double play. So we'll move to the bottom of the second as Austin Hedges making his debut here. Full count to him. He is hitting this one deep into left. Yelich is there and he will make the catch. Although it was hit pretty deep by Austin, he needs to keep his head up because he has hopefully a good career out of him coming up soon as the young catcher is down. Speaking of down, Jed Jerko hitting under 200 this year, not doing too well, and you can see it there as he strikes out. Now third inning action with a runner in scoring position. Christian Yelich cannot convert. He strikes out, and Tyson Ross showcasing some of his many skills. Marcelo Zuna up to bat again, full count. Base is empty, leadoff man for the Marlins in the fourth. He is hitting this one deep into right. Camp is running out of room, but he makes the catch just at the warning track and helps his pitcher Tyson Ross out there a bit. And Will Middlebrooks is up to bat now with a runner on first. And he takes this one deep to left. See ya. Add two more to the scoreboard. The Padres get a two-run shot from Will Middlebrooks. And that is just what the doctor ordered. Will Middlebrooks, uh, not struggling, but as far as home runs go, needing a few more of those, and he gets one there. Two run shots to left, and it's 4-1 Padres as we'll move forward in this one. This ball is hit into left, 
Upton not showing most of his good defensive skills there as that is an RBI or no, just a regular triple for Hechevarria. But uh, we we're lucky that wasn't an inside the park home run or at least a triple with an error as Hechevarria is in at third with a triple. Next man, leadoff man, Donovan Solano. See you again. Second time he's been struck out by Tyson Ross and he is rolling. Sixth inning now, 3-2 pitch and Justin, you there? Christian Yelich gets one of the weirdest RBI doubles. Actually, not even RBI double, just a double to the left as Justin Upton must have been checking someone out in the crowd because he is not even caring about baseball. Now runners on second and third. Ozuna hits this one over and there is no one on first. This defense is looking terrible for the Padres. A run scores. It's now 4-2. to two. Runners on the corners for Michael Morse. And we cannot convert the double play. And another run will come in to score. It's now 4-3 to three with a runner in scoring position. Man, this defense is not looking good. 3-1 pitch now to Prado. And he singles into center. This ball game is tied up at 4. And the Padres lead is no more. Tyson Ross wasn't entirely his fault, but he is done for the day. Didn't get too much help from his defense, and we'll have to bring in Nick Vincent, who is 6-2, the All-Star, with a 1-6-1 ERA. 4-4 game here in the top of the six. Runner on first. Kemp is back. Deep to right. That falls. That hits the wall. The runner is going to round third and come home. And he scores. Prado is in there. And just like that, the Marlins have taken the lead 5-4. to four. Another running in runner in scoring position, as this is the pitcher, Dan Heron, hitting this one in the left. That will score a run. It's now 6-4 Marlins, and Dan Heron has himself an RBI single in the left. Man, where did our pitching and defense go? We have a lot of work to do, as Matt Kemp is going to single into right here. It just fell just before Ichiro's glove. Now with the runner on first, Justin Upton up to bat, and he's going to single in the left there. So we're trying to get back every run we can here with runners on first and second. That is going to bring up, uh, or bring in, I should say, Brian Morris, the reliever, as Dan Heron is done for the day. Will Middlebrooks up to bat, full count, and this is a diving play, and that is a double play for the Marlins. The runner stays and advances to third. That's Kemp. Alonzo hits this one in the left field, so we will get run, one run back as Alonzo has himself an RBI single to left. And Kemp comes in to score. So it's 6-5 here. Dale Thayer coming into this one. The stash, 4-4 four and four on the season. Trying to uh, lock things down here. Itro is down. Next batter, 2-2 two -two pitch. Yelich is down. And you see there the stash doing his work on the mound. And that is the seventh inning. Eighth inning, we're bringing in Sean Kelly, 6-1 with a 1-4-1 ERA. Full count here. And that is going to send down Michael Morse. Hechevarria hits this one into left. Playable for Upton. He looks like he is prepared this time. And he is. He makes the catch. And that is it for the top of the eighth. Now to the bottom of the eighth. Matt Campbell to bat. He's two for three with a double and a single. 3-0 pitch to him is high and deep to left. That was crushed. A solo shot to left, and this game is tied up. Matt Kemp unloads to left field, and this game is getting even more crazy. 6-6 now in the bottom of the eighth, and with the runner on first, Yonder Alonso is taking a pitch outside, and he has walked. Ramos not liking what he's doing. The rookie, Austin Hedges, showing some patience. He walks, and now the bases are loaded for guess who? Jed Jerko. And if there was any time to get out of a slump, it is now. 0 for 3 in this game. Full count to him with an out. And he singles in the center. Jed Jerko coming up clutch. One run is in. The second run is in. And it is safe. Alonzo comes across, and it is all of a sudden an 8-6 Padres lead. Runners on first and second for Escobar, and he singles up the middle. Runner from second is coming home, and he will score. 9-6 now for the Padres. We're bringing in Craig Kimbrell to close things up. 27 saves, saves on the season, and you know how this is going to go. One out, two outs, and three outs. 
ball game. Padres win this one 9-6. It was definitely a seesaw battle in this one as Sean Kelly gets himself to win 7-1 on the season. Your player of the game is Matt Kemp, who in a triple shy of the cycle went 3-4 for four with that monster solo shot to left, which tied up the game in the 8th. As your Padres, with a seesaw battle, come up with the victory. 9-6 here in San Diego. Second half of the season is underway. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace.